PeteTools.com. Hey guys, Pete from Pete's Tools. Awesome to see you back here again. Hey, today I wanted uh, just a little quick video about plasma cutter maintenance. You wouldn't think there's any maintenance to do on your plasma cutter. But uh, look what I've done to mine. See what you think. Um, there's a few little tips and tricks there that uh, I want you to learn. Otherwise you might end up like me and it might be end up costing you a fortune for something stupid that you did. Or you didn't do, you know how it is. Anyway, same uh, rules as usual guys. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a, a comment down below. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So guys, I've got my old uh, plasma cutter here. Pulled their sides off it and we'll just wander around and have a look at the machine. Uh, preventative maintenance. It's, uh, you wouldn't think you'd need any preventative maintenance on these sort of things, but uh, trust me you do. Because you can get into all sorts of trouble. I did too when I first got my uh, machine actually. I uh, had an issue with it. Um, I thought it was something that I did. Well it was really, but I took it back to, to the where I brought it from and uh, it was the fact that I didn't... Um, didn't clean the thing out, believe it or not. You, know, you wouldn't think you had to clean these things out, but like in the back here, and same as all of them, if you look there, you, like, you've got your fan, obviously, and you know when you, you turn your, your switch on, you can hear it starting up. But what that is doing is it's sucking air in here to cool off all your components in here, because this is chip control, the control with chips. So, um, so what I'm saying is, it, when you're cooling the machine off, because you know how hot they run, it sucks the air in here, but it also sucks up all the shit in your workshop, you know, like like all the all the crap on your table and that sort of thing that's in the air, it comes in here. And because these components here are quite sensitive, then it gets a build up of shit on it, and then sooner or later when you go to turn the thing on, it, it'll just short out. And you go, oh no. You know, and the major, major drama. See, I'll show you, I'll see if I can zoom in and you have a look at the shit on this thing. I cleaned this out probably three months ago. You see the shit in here? It's absolutely unbelievable. It's just crap. And what that does is, it's just, so you can see it up here too. See it all in here? It's everywhere. There's a, there's a layer of crap on all of this stuff. See that? It's got a layer of crap on it. And uh, what it does, Basically, you see, we'll have a look in here too. So we'll go down the bottom, see if we can see any any rubbish down there. In the bottom circuit, you see the dust on on top of all the stuff. Now, it wouldn't be so bad if it was normal dust, but it's metal filings that get sucked into the machine. So therefore, when it gets sucked into the machine, it's going to do all sorts of nasty things. If it gets to a certain point where you can't it can't tolerate it anymore, see that crap all over there. It's to a certain point where it just can't tolerate it anymore, it'll just short your bloody machine out. And next thing you know, hello, you've done a couple of hundred bucks worth of damage. So what I do is uh, every couple of months, just um, pull a, pull a side net off it and just blow it out with some compressed air. It's the easiest thing to do anyway. Just start your compressor up and, and blow it out, which I shall do in a second. But um, yeah, that's just a quick tip, guys. I would, um, I would do that because it just saves a lot of aggravation because there's nothing worse than going and turn your plasma cutter on it goes... Poof, and that's the end of it. But remember, when you're pulling this off, because there's really no serviceable parts in these things, um, when you're pulling these covers and that off, before you do that, make sure you turn the bloody thing off. I've lost my ear gun, so I'm using, just using a, an ear line here, so you just have to put up with it. We'll get rid of this crap over here. Anyway guys, that's about it for this uh, quick video.